Okay, hi friends. Um, so I wanted to hop on because I found a really fun um, painting that I wanted to try with you. And um, I found some tape. And look, it's apples. That's perfect. So I'm going to actually tape down my paper today. Let me just move all these things. You can see I have some micron pens. Those are just like our little Sharpies that we use um, at school. But these, um, the micron pens are like um, more of an artist pen. I also have this regular, um, just a ballpoint pen, black ballpoint pen, that um, if you don't have Sharpie or micron, you can just use a ballpoint pen. So let me get this tape down and then I'm going to show you guys um, what we're gonna paint. It's super cute and the reason I wanted to to do this is because I have a couple friends that I wanted to send um, a letter to and um, because I'm not getting to see them right now and um, I just want people to know that I'm thinking about them and that I care about them and this is um, these are gonna go to my two um, best friends and I can't wait to get them in the mail but I have one more to do um, and then I was like, oh, am goodness, my students would be able to do this and I think they would have a really good time. So you can see that my paper is, um, about a half sheet of regular size paper. You can do this on any size paper that you want. Um, again, if you don't have, um, full white paper, use line paper. It's still going to be cool and you can still write a letter on it or put it in your journal or whatever. Okay, so there is my... <laughs> Yay! I can't believe I had apple tape, you guys. <laughs> so, there's my tape. I taped it down and I taped it down to try and keep it from wrinkling, wrinkling as much. And here is what we're going to paint today. These uh, adorable fluffy birds and I just wrote smile down here you don't have to write anything oh oops, sorry holding it wrong way um yeah so this one is actually painted this way whoops but we're gonna paint up and down you paint whichever way whichever way makes you most happy I might trim it so that it's just this size rather than this long way anyways adorable okay so what you're gonna do first to paint this little fluffy baby bird is you're going to have clean water you'll have your paints your palettes um, I might end up using a hair dryer on this one because I want to show it to you um, quickly um, and I'll need to dry off my bird before I can draw on him with my ink pen so I am just taking one of my bigger brushes, this brush right here, and it's full of water, you can see. And I'm just going to put, I'll try and make sure I don't paint upside down. <laughs> oh, it looks like it was a little bit dirty. That's okay, I'm gonna go with it. Okay, so I just painted um, a fairly large size circle on my paper, um, about the size of my palm, minus my fingers. Minus those phalanges and I'm gonna make sure that it's pretty wet because I want my paint to go where it feels happiest okay and I think for this bird this other one that I just showed you was kind of purple and blue I'm not gonna lie you guys I kind of think I'm gonna whoops I think I'm going to do a green bird I think I am so I am just loading my brush with this emerald green you can't see it but now you can <laughs> so I'm throwing some green on there a green bird would be um, my ideal bird to see that's probably why I like hummingbirds so much and you can see I just picked up a different green really you guys can put whatever colors you want on here I encourage you to just have fun with your color I might even grab some of this blue and put it in like right there um, because I mean, why not have fun on these, right? Make it as transparent or as vivid as you want. Really have some fun. I just threw on quite a bit of water because I want my paint to move a little bit more. Okay, super simple, super fast, right? So a big circle of color. Now I happen to have um, at home, where is that? Where'd you go? 
it's called a fan brush. You can do this without a fan brush, but here's what my fan brush looks like. It looks like a fan. Now, I'll do half with this fan brush, and then I'll pick up a different brush, and I'll show you if you don't have this brush. Um, and I'm just gonna, it's clean. It's just got water, a little bit of water on it. And I'm just gonna start pulling some of that color out like that, and that gives it the fluff, okay? <laughs> I um I laugh because honestly I would I I can't I wish I could see their faces when they open these and they're like wait what that's so cute. Hopefully they'll see that. <laughs> okay, so there's some fluff um with a fan brush. If you have a fan brush, awesome. If you don't, let's just take um I guess I'll just take this brush. It's super wet, so let me drive it off on my pants. Okay, so here's just kind of a bigger brush. You can do this with any brush, and I'm just, it's its damp, it's not soaking wet. So I'm just kind of separating my bristles so it kind of fans out like that. So it's a little bit wet, and then I'm just gonna pull like this. So obviously it looks a little bit different than the fan brush side, but still adorable. And actually, I kinda like how fluffy that looks, so I might come over and fluff up over here too, okay? Okay, super simple. Now I'm getting a line here, do you see that? If that, if you get that, that's because this circle was wet and we were painting wet on wet and then this area was dry. If it bothers you, grab a dry brush, or excuse me, grab a clean brush, but it's gonna be wet and just wet that up and that'll help the paint kind of move a little bit better. Um, and at this point, you'll wanna grab any color that you want to kind of throw in. Um, I want this one to be a little bit more colorful. Adding some paint on top of that line is just going to help me hide it a smidge if it bothers me. But honestly, birds can look however. So some water, just smoothing it out, just having like some fun with that. Okay. Now here's where it's going to get loud. So if you don't like noise, plug your ears. Because I'm going to grab a super old hair dryer and I am going to blow dry this so I can show you drawing in those other. I'm holding super close up to my paper and just to really dry it really fast. And this is, I'm not kidding, you, this is like a garage here. It's dirty. down. You know what guys, I lied. It's not a garage um, hair dryer. <sighs> Sorry, I'm bending over to pick up my pants. Um, it's really, a, it's for painting. So it was in with like my painting cabinet. Okay, so that's pretty dry. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to draw in my little stick legs. And you can see on this guy, I didn't put any feet, but you you should feel free to do whatever makes you happy on here. I'm using this little micron pen. Its tip is this thick, but I mean, you could do several of these and they're just going to be adorable no matter what pen or materials you're using because they're super <laughs> fluffy. Okay, so I am grabbing and pulling down. This guy's going to have long legs, apparently. I'm pulling down. <laughs> And then up here at the top, um, 
Sorry, I hope I'm not making you guys dizzy. Again, not a professional YouTuber. So I'm going to thicken his little thighs. There's his little bird thighs. Um, and that's just something I want to do. You don't have to do that if you like them being very stickish. Jeez. There we go. There's his legs. And then his eyes. Have fun with these too. They're just two little dots. See them? Boop, boop. So this guy, I think I'm going to come up from his legs and I'm going to put two dots really close together. Maybe. And there. <laughs> He's so cute already. All right. So, and since we set our paint with our hair dryers, or I did, or you could just leave it to sit and it'll, oops, <laughs> just dropping things today, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to grab my next brush, and this brush has um, kind of a square edge. If you don't have one of these, please use whatever brush you like best and just go with it. I'm going to use this old paint. looks like a red-orange, so I'm going to wet it up, and I'm going to grab some red, get some more of that. I want this to be more opaque, meaning less see-through than, say, over here. That's very transparent. This one I want opaque. I don't want to see through it as much because this color is the bird's beak. Let me grab my purple here, my blurple, blue and purple bird. You can see his beak is not very, I mean it's a little transparent because it's watercolor, but anywho. Alright, so you just make a triangle and you can do, you have fun with your triangle again. Have fun. That's the whole point of these little paintings. So I'm just setting it down and I'm going to wiggle just a smidgen once I hit the paper. Oh, that's perfect. Done. Um, that was not intentional. <laughs> I was going to paint a little triangle, but I, I mean, you guys, I like that. I'm going to leave it. And because I know that you, and when I say you, I'm talking to my fifth graders, but if you're not my fifth grader and you're watching, you probably love this too. You guys love your splatter paint. So... I am going to incorporate it on here. You can see it just adds kind of some fun texture. Kind of a rainy day baby bird, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, it's just cute. So I am going to load my brush with both greens. So I've got my grass green on there, and I'm just going to grab... I'm using my fan brush, but you guys know you can do this with any brush. So lots of paint, lots of water, and just tap it like that. Which is great that I'm doing this because I dropped paint on him earlier. Whoops. But you know what? I like it. I'm not upset about it. <laughs> He's so cute. I want to squish him. Okay. I might grab some of his beet color too. This um, red orange and kind of do that on there. Or maybe not. I need a little more water. It wasn't coming off my brush. You can see it's turning kind of a brown because I didn't um, wash the green off. That's fine. He's still cute. I might just do that at the bottom, like he's standing on the ground or something. So much you can do with watercolor, and I think the more fun you have with it, the better each painting will turn out. So, for example, I put brown there, pretending or trying to make the illusion that he's standing on the ground. So now I'm actually going to grab some blue, and I actually have a pool of blue underneath those little... And I'm putting some blue in the sky. If I want to do that on this one, I'll just grab him and throw on some of that blue, which is awesome. Cute. I love it. Just have fun. That's the whole point. Okay. And then if you want to write a little message, if you are just doing this painting to, for it to be a painting, you don't have to write anything. If you just love it, frame it, throw it on the fridge, whatever. Um, as I said before, I'm going to be throwing these into the mail. So if you do have micron pens, this is the number that I use to draw. It's blurry, but zero one, draw the legs. Um, I actually have three of them here, um, but I'm going to use this one to write my word and it's not. So zero zero five. Yes, zero zero five. 
And on this one, I think I might write it up along his leg like this. I'm still going to write smile because that's my hope. Is that you guys are well and that you're smiling. And that's it. And there's my bird, fluffy bird painting. So I tried to move fast and I'm super proud of myself because I did this all in one video this time. No technical difficulties. Well, other than dropping all my supplies on the floor, but that's okay. You, you don't mind. So what's awesome about washi tape, washi tape is it comes right up and comes off the page really easy. I'm using um, this um, paper that someone um, had actually thrown away because it got dirty, but it's still good in my book. So, waste not, want not. And there you go. There's my two little birds from my friends that I'm going to be sending off to them. Yay! Um, I'd love to see your guys' paintings. You can pay, um, post them in Google Classroom, Art Sonia. Um, other than that, 